it might be Paul Weller, I'm not sure. Let's see. Now we welcome back to the show uh, with a new and exciting Cuban sound, a very talented woman indeed. I speak of Kirsty McCall. <laughs> names of a couple of cigars and the fabulous Kirsty McColl there from the Tropical Brainstorm LP. Well, I promised on this uh, hundredth later to reveal who had appeared more times than a <laughs> here there, Century Building. Before that, we heard Ivan Wild. We'll be hearing more of them later, but now, the woman that we saw earlier and enjoyed very much, Kirsty McColl. <laughs> We've topped the tongue. Kirsty, how many laters have you been on? Well, I think this is the third, but I'm not entirely sure. And are they happy experiences, generally? Euphoric. Yeah. <laughs> Good name for a record. Yes. Speaking of that, your first song was called In These Shoes. Mm -hmm. What inspired that? Um, it's about uh, 
But being a fashion victim, you know, being a slave to fashion and crippling yourself in the process. I've done that a few times. Have you? That's what I, that's what I wrote it about, actually. Yes. Is it about me? <laughs> it's about you in high heels, George. No, yes. And that's why I don't wear them anymore. For, I noticed. For, for health and safety reasons. Quite right, too. You, you d have been influenced, would you say, by... Uh, well, no, you tell me what you've been influenced by on this record. Um, well, I did a lot of travelling, and I went off to Cuba, and I went off to Brazil, and um, I just got very interested in the music from those parts of the world and uh, immersed myself in it and um, it's given a sort of uh, a few Latin rhythms to my record but it's still a hybrid it's not a sort of it's not trying to be a purist Latin record but I did actually yeah I did a little bit of um, recording in Brazil as well which was quite uh, what's that like as a place to be in it's very big don't go to where I went expecting it to be sort of gentle, you know, sultry bossa novas, because where I went it was all hardcore speed accordion music. Wow. And uh, I wasn't expecting that, but it was good fun anyway, you know. But I did the rest of the record in uh, the home of Latin music, which, as you know, is Bermondsey. Yes. I think it's time that we did a quick retrospective of your career. Uh, and uh, you've had all sorts, had hits with all sorts of people, but the footage that we have got today oh dear. is from the 900th <laughs> Top of the Pops. Oh, here it is, bastard. in 1981. Days, that was actually before I'd completed my sex change. It was when I was still in drag. <laughs> it's marvellous. We all love that. I mean, how, how uh, is that? I have to say, we're very pleased that you've been on the show, and we're very pleased we'll be hearing more from you. What's the next song that you're going to be doing? The next song's called England 2, Columbia Nil. What's that about? <laughs> it's about a, a tragic um, date gone horribly wrong. <laughs> well, look forward to hearing that, and in the meantime, Cassie McCall, thank you for coming on the hundredth later. <laughs> Next, we're thrilled and we've got sound systems. And what comes out, of course, is not noise, but beautiful music. That of Kirsty McCall.
sobbed all the way home Called my friend up in Sao Paulo And cried down the phone I played some tragic music And I laid down to die But later I awoke And I hadn't stopped crying You should never have kissed me You tasted of deceit